am going back, back out. It's, it's been, been a while. while. I, I took a break. Took a break. I also, I also went to DreamCon. Had to recover, had to recover from DreamCon. Like, my, like voice my voice was gone. gone. Like gone, like gone, gone. And I needed, and I needed to, like, to like, rest, rest after, after that. Because you know, that's the, know, first, the first, time. first time. I myself, I myself have really been, been out, out since, since COVID, COVID happened, happened and all that jazz. All that jazz. So, so my body, my body was in a bit of a shock. But I'm on it. It feels good to be back. I missed y'all. I told y'all that we were going to continue dangling around, which we are. And, and I have a few other videos, videos that I'm recording, recording today, today as well. well but we are going, we are to, going jump to jump right into right it. But, 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 but I have to give a huge thanks to all of my, all new, my subscribers. new subscribers. Welcome. Welcome. I appreciate y'all. Y'all know, know, know how, how much it means to me that you guys subscribe, watch my videos, comment, and I just appreciate everything that you guys do and the encouragement that you guys are to me. So I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. And let's jump right into it. Okay, guys, so I'm back. So now what I did was I, ha I had to play this all the way back to where I had originally stopped or ended the last video. But what I did, I'm going to use this as a recap moment and basically just play it from when everything starts to actually go down and everything is starting to get juicy. So, yeah, we're going to jump right back into it. As y'all can see, the Wolverine has officially ransacked my room. That's some... Now, mind you, I hope this music isn't too loud and y'all can hear me, but this is like the morning after. So the night before, Sayaka went to Makoto's room saying somebody was trying to break into her room, even though her door was locked and she was safe in her room. And she wanted Makoto to sleep in her room and she sleeps in his. And that makes no sense. But anyways, so this is basically like the morning after. Let's take a look. And so why is he saying it so s s spaced out like that? Got bodied anyways. That's what I didn't understand about what she was saying. She said that somebody was at her door. Her door was locked. They were shaking the doorknob and for a while, they started shaking it a little bit harder. She then decides to leave her room, go next door to Makoto's room. Now you're out in the open. So if somebody is trying to attack you, you just gave them every opportunity to do so. She goes to Makoto's room, knocks on his door. Makoto opens the door. Now you've put him in danger. She walks in the room, tells him, hey, this is what's going on. Switch rooms with me. They switch rooms. But my thing is, why didn't you just stay in your room? You have a sewing kit in your drawer that has scissors in it. If anybody breaks in their room, you got plenty of space and plenty of objects to defend yourself. But obviously, it didn't matter. It took me a second to realize what I was why the, that I was screaming. What I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself into my brain. And then, and then bro everything went black man it made no difference what you should have just stayed in your room when i opened my eyes i found myself staring at a huge ceiling it was a ceiling i remember seeing before and when i sat up i saw someone looking at me again it was someone i seen before Hold on, Doc. You still owe me an apology for punching me in the face last time. Ah, ah you're awake. Finally. Are you okay? Yeah. yeah, you. You owe me, Mondo. Punched me in the face at the beginning of the video and still ain't apologized. Now's no time for sleeping. Get your ass up. Huh? Uh, um. You were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back, to, back here. Well. It's no surprise considering what happened. What happened? Why is everybody so nonchalant that this girl is um. dead? Hey, are you okay? So it wasn't a dream? What I saw? It was real? Hmm. That's right. It really did happen. Saika is dead. 
a deep dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded out of me I shut up I shot up and took off running you could hear him running if you weren't headphones you could hear him take off running hey what do you think you're God uh, where do you think you're going I have to see for myself I have to see if Saika is if Saika is just give up you can check once twice a thousand times Saika completely and irrevocably dead no I have to see for myself Why? listen to Why? us man what do you think is gonna happen if you go out there well well what good is it gonna do just sitting around here I mean why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this our friend Saika she's she's dead dead when I said that it finally hit me I really hope this music isn't louder than my voice I realized she was really gone calm down none of us want to be here right now either then why shouldn't it be obvious Monokuma he told us all to come here well hold on don't talk like that we all <laughs> we all protested it I mean we remember the terrible price Saika had to pay but so I'm the one who convinced them to come right now we need to do whatever he says we're his pri yeah we're his prisoners right it's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Saika. Wrong. I wouldn't <laughs> listen. Before this video, I practiced trying to do Monokuma's voice. Apparently, I'm not. I'm not ready for that right now. <laughs> I would never do it I would never do that if you can believe anything you can believe that <laughs> he's here again hey, um... unless someone violates the school regulation I absolutely will not interfere I can promise you I won't do anything that goes against the promise of your school life here I'm sorry your purpose of your school life here I'm famous Oh my god. I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the bear times one rule. But then who did it? Who killed her? Come on. You already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you. Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Saika? Don't be stupid. That's Hmm. What's the matter? You guys all look like you've about to See, hold on. You guys all look like you're about to see a dove get shot up and... Bro, <laughs> come on. Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? One of you decided to kill Saika so that you could graduate. Someone just followed the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... Y you're lying, right? Then he look like his figure smell like old chicken or something. like Or and, and ketchup. Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope. Sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... I are you serious? What is this? Someone someone killed someone? <laughs> it is amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold on. I swear you did it. Hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with this stuffed animal here. <laughs> if one of us really did kill her. That person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Monokuma. Why are you laughing? It's cause... Naive. You're just so naive. You think it's really that easy? You think just... Ah, uh, you... Yeah, you can just keep... Hold on. You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz out of here? Hey, 
Um, You're right, super naive. Know. Devilishly naive. Okay, bro, I get it. No, no, no. The real thing has just begun. The real thing. Now then. Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one part. Oh, sorry. There's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold. Remember? Then perhaps you are referring to the rule number six of the school regulations. Anyone who kills a fellow student. Okay, if you are the blacken that committed the murder, you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you are talking about, is it not? In other words, bingo. It's not enough to just kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Oh, which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. So, a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Hmm. Yup! It'll begin a few hours after the murder. Every my, Meanwhile, this girl is still in that room just dead. Everyone will, get, will gather together, including the black and who committed the murder. And they, and they and the spotless students will all arrange I'm sorry, uh, 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 we'll all engage in one big debate showdown. Ooh. During the trial, you'll Thanks, bro, because my mouth is already getting dry. My who goodness. Who do you think the black one is? And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. You know, I wouldn't have been, hip I wouldn't have been mad if, if this game had voice acting all the way correct, through. Only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive. And the rest of you will receive your punishment. Punishment. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Well... Here go chicken fingers. So, um, what exactly is the punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Oh, well, to put it simply, what? it's execution. Hmm. My goodness. Execution? What? And by execution, you mean execution. Execution is execution. Execution! Electric chair. <laughs> Poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. Oh, dear. So, so to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die? But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? What a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you implying you didn't do... Gosh, implying that you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge. Okay, a lay judge system or an equation type thing. Which means you'll be decided who you think the killer is. But judge carefully because all of your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Okay? Let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure you keep it in mind. So why wasn't it already in there in the first place? The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Hey. Wait, hold on a second. How are they talking? You're freaking insane. You know that? Huh? Hmm? What the? A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with the egg honey. You don't have a choice. Why not? Stop it. What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? What, what are you... S are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. The hell are you talking what? about? What? Punishment? Hmm. I might... I don't know. Throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something? Shut the hell up. Say whatever you want. I am not going to be a part of this. I don't. Don't be oh, selfish. Stop it. You're the one being selfish. She is really going back and forth with this thing. You're the one being selfish. Kill, kill whoever you want. It's got nothing to do with me. Hold on now. 
The evil standing here before me is trembling with fear. I'm sorry, I'm trembling with fear. But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you have to go through me first. As he said that, he came charging at us. Although it was more of a waddle. <laughs> but then... <laughs> Enjoying yourself now. <laughs> Are you? Hmm? Oh, sh violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed. You violated a school regulation. I invoke the mighty summon spell. Help to me, godly spear, Gunnier. There it is. I was not expecting her to get killed so fast. This wasn't supposed to. Why me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. There you got it. No way. Now you got two dead bodies. One we already know Monokuma did it. But this is how it's popping off. What the? I don't. This can't be real. Well now. Now, I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know? But. I guess we all needed to be taught a lesson after all. Ha! Huh. What an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So if you don't want that to happen to you, you'd best obey those school regulations. Man, Junko's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody here could deny what they'd seen. Junko, who until just a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She's died. She's been murdered. It's in simple terms. It was the death of a human being. Hey, um... It's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. Just went and died. Dang, Monokuma! It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just a natural as the... Uh, e uh, e uh. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> This isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. This is reality. Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in, in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No, you've been waiting to kill this entire time. See what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill t Oh my gosh. Or are you being a metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on, what do you <laughs> what do you take me for? I'm Monokuma. Well now. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the blacking. Okay. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to so hold on. I like to call it the Monokuma file. So he had already well, yeah, he can do that because basically he has cameras everywhere, so he's been watching this whole time. I mean, naturally you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with corpses. Yeah. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? I mean, I don't think anybody asked that, but okay. 
because the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So then. Wait, so then you know who killed Saeka? <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during a trial. Now could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it all your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, so we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. Yo. Now with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us and he could have at least grabbed and dragged her off somewhere since we already know who did it. <laughs> Jeez. And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Saeka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there was more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that, if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We'd find ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such a previously terrible situation, she didn't show the slight hint it had gotten to her. She, oh, her. Now, no, oh, now's no time to waddle in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead, that would lead to the same dis uh, disastrous results as having total faith in everyone else. What? Wait, huh? In other words, cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. <laughs> I know I don't trust her. Continuing to think about to think about and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? S saying stuff like that is just... How many times have I told you anyone who can't adapt will die? Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable to or unwilling to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible! Wait an... Huh, what an awful thing to say, especially after what happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our, our search right now, right away. Uh, right now. Either way, we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I letting someone kill me. All right. Damn it. Let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating the statement. Yeah, everybody keep repeating the same thing. Just, I get it. They were using it all. Man. Okay. Jeez, come on. But they're right. We just have to do. No matter how much we don't want to, we just. I get it, y'all. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I had to know why Saeka had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, otherwise I knew I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why I don't have any choice I have to do. Then why do they keep repeating themselves? You know, mind you, I have my voice back from DreamCon, which is awesome but i can tell like all this reading like oh my gosh like am i fully recovered like as i thought all right let's talk before we start searching saika's for saika's killer we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene what do you mean hmm. you think for putting uh, you think of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area aren't you which is smart because the killer can easily get rid of evidence after all if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence we pretty much screwed or right. we're pretty much screwed in that case i don't mind doing it i don't like having to think anyway okay i'll let you guys figure out who the who killed that chick hmm. 
Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. Well, can't mind you, this girl is still back there laying down. Well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Because we don't know you could have done it. Is it an obviously? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah, that's, he got a point. Fine. Then I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Two-player co-op based defense with the two of them. With their stats, they're totally off. <laughs> Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I, I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Yeah, y'all ain't got a choice. Okay, so... We're gonna talk to Chicken Fingers. Hafumi? Consciousness has crashed. Restarting now. Please wait a moment. Oh my gosh. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to get to the girl behind you. She must be so shocked she can't even open her mouth to talk. Uh, yeah. Chihiro. What should I do? S someone got right in front of us. They... Okay. Sakura? Ugh. We can't run away from the situation. We have... Oh. Oh, okay. She's just up. My boy! Uh -huh. huh? Uh, um... What, what's going on? What do you mean? What's... What? Uh yeah. Huh? Is this really happening? Don't fuck with me. Okay. Anyway, we're going to find out who who the killer is, because if we don't, we're all going to die. Okay, so I think everybody's just going to repeat themselves, but there are a few people I haven't talked to. I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did. I think I came in a little bit too strong in the beginning, <laughs> in the beginning. or else we're all dead. Miss Celeste. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> so, you finally noticed. What the crap? Notice what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Saika died? She died in... Shh, crap. And that's why I'm mad. Like, why couldn't you stay in your room? They immediately are gonna think it's me. She died in Makoto's dorm. <gasps> She's right. Eh? Then could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. H hold on a second. You've got it all wrong. F for just one night, I, I traded rooms with her. I, I did it because she was afraid. No, you did it because she asked you to. You should have said that. You, you expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth. The look on everyone... I'm sorry, the look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you, you think I did it. I mean, yeah, they, you know, she... Hmm. We need to hurry up and find out who the culprit is. Okay, all right, bro. Leon! So, so we're really gonna try and find out who did it? Yeah. Scooby in the game, y'all are gonna solve the mystery. If we find out who did it, then only that person dies. But if we get it wrong, then the rest of us face execution. What the heck? That's what the ridiculous school regulation said, right? So stupid. All right. Is anybody gonna sweep her up or we just gonna, you know? I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse like they do in the movies and stuff but bro she's been laying there for i don't know how long she had a pulse it's gone we done talked with a bunch of people and all of that she really is dead there wasn't anything else to say she was gonna okay um i don't know why you even bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood frankly i'd be shocked if she did survive something like that huh H hold on hold on just wait a second She's. Then that means that means everything was that's happened so far is this whole time it hadn't clicked to him that this was real. It's not a joke or whatever. Is is this really real? Let me out 
Hell no, someone save me. Let me out of here. Oh my gosh, bro. You're just now accepting that? So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon, true. At this point, we should all split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Saiga. We'll have to collect clues uh, to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong, so well, do I really have to say anymore? I'd rather you didn't. No. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. Amen. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going to. And just like that, Kyoko had he. And just like that, Kyoko he was gone before. Oh, and just like that. Huh? Oh, and just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it, y'all. Oh, yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I'd better head to the scene of the crime. Hold on, I'm right behind you. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever's. Okay, bro. Come on now. Did this. It's here right now, and they're thinking of destroying the, that You're evidence. Fucking dead. They better not let me find them. I'll, I'll skip the trial and cave their skulls in myself okay all right bro so, um, but i mean we're not detectives or anything you know and we're gonna investigate a murder how do we even do something like that well you start anyway. with the file we don't really have to do anything in particular we already know who killed saika what are we what what are you implying this is it was weird. you i'm telling you it wasn't me don't come any closer. Are you gonna kill me next? So, um, well, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Um, Thank you. Goodness. That's true. We may as well at least check just to check. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I, I couldn't help in investigate. Why not? Uh, I'm not good with b blood. This... You got this girl marinating on the floor, and you're standing in the gym. There's blood everywhere, but you're not good with blood. All it takes is is one glimpse, and I'll black out. You should have blacked out a long time ago. Like, oh yeah. Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. All right, I guess I better get going. Wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks and looks at me had still been filed with suspicion. Filled with suspicion. Y'all, you know, just bear with me. <laughs> Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How how did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone do just help investigate with everybody. That's all you can Execution do. Is electric chair. <laughs> Poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. Just in case y'all needed a reminder. <laughs> I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Exactly. So don't worry about it. Just go investigate with everybody else. Who really killed Saika? All right, I'm going straight to the room. Look at this, this girl. I guess I should look through Monokuma's file we got before. Oh yeah, the victim was Saika. Um, my Zono. Uh, the time of death is estimated to be around 1:30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dom in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. The death took place. They switched rooms. Mind y'all, this is my first time playing this game. So if I'm wrong, sorry. But they switched rooms, right? Makoto can't. The guys can't access the girls' bathrooms and. The girls can't access the guys' bathrooms. Uh, 
but the bathroom in Mako no because the bathroom in Makoto's room like even though it was like the door was jammed there was a way to get in there but only a guy could access the bathroom right A guy had to have done it. It had to have been one of the boys. Because nobody of the opposite sex can access anybody's room or their bathroom unless it... Oh, the cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow I have to find out the truth so that we can all survive. And bro, bro, I have to find out how... Monokuma's file number one has been added to the truth bullets section of your... I think I have my first, like... That's a dead giveaway. Bro. Uh, no way. I seriously don't want to die here. I'm begging you, God of Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King of Neptune, hip bro. I don't care who it is, just get me out of here. Hero doesn't seem prepared to do any any kind of investigating right now. Yeah, let him, let him, let him marinate. Are you going to help investigate, Chihiro? Mm. Oh, I thought it was her talking. Um, but I can't leave Junko here. I feel sorry, for, honey. I, I have to stay here. I have to stay with her. Oh, that's sweet of her. I, I mean, I yeah, she doesn't want to like, you know, just leave her. Them boots are cute, by the way. But anyways, let me get out of here. <laughs> boots are cute. So we're leaving the gym. I'm going directly to my room, period. I'm going to, yes, leave the area. I'm going to my room. I'm going to my room. All of a sudden, oh, oh first of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. Yeah, I know. I was let me get let me get there. So I headed to my room where Saika's corpse still remained. Dang, I better examine the state of my room a little close. But I don't I wonder if they're gonna actually let him investigate since they assume that he did it. That might reveal something new. First of all, this was knocked off the Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need all of y'all to get out of my room. Let's start with something as silly as a trash can. You never know. No? Okay, the table. The table was knocked over. Um, there there are scratches and gou gouges on my walls and well yeah. Is that evidence or a of a struggle? Yes. Somebody was struggling all through this room. It looks like there must have been some kind of fight. Yes. Yes. Damn it! I was right there in the other room if only I heard something but you can't hear anything because I believe Monokuma said that the rooms are soundproof late. That would not have been possible. <laughs> Don't you remember all of the rooms are completely soundproof. Oh I'm right. So something could have so something could happen in the room right next to you and, and there's no way you could know. Perhaps this was an another of Monokuma's strategies creating an ideal setting for murder. Mind you, evidence of a struggle has been added to the truth. Mind you, all of this happened right after everyone saw their tapes or looked at their little DVDs. Um, no, 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 no. This, I guess I can look at this. This is the replica sword I bought uh, back from the self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack or something? And plus, it's been taken out of oh oh anybody who t okay y'all i swear if i figure this out and i get this right come try i am gonna be like uh when you touch that remember when i went and got it from the, again if you haven't seen the other videos like go watch the other videos when he picked it up he said that there was like this gold residue on his hand um um so anybody who touched that should still have that residue on their hand y'all am i right am i right i hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now i shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold on top of that 
some of the gold coating has come off parts of the blade and the handle y'all don't need to search nothing else just walk around and look at people's hands yeah the handle especially is missing a lot of the coating I remember that the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit Oh my god, I think I figured this out. This is my first time playing this game. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna look at that too. This is the river. Oh, okay. Oh, well. And plus the sword has been taken out, so it's just a, okay. Huh? There are some scratches. Oh, they must have been made with something sharp. Where are the scratches located? But how... Yeah, that's good. Like, how does it get scratches on it in the first place? Even if someone used a sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the seat to be damaged, right? Because you're just taking it out. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with a sword, the first thing you have to do is, um, yes, you have to take, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So why are we, unless... Um, the only oh no, 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 no. the only thing that I can think of is when the person took it out, right? Which I swear it's a guy. It has to be a guy. It has to be a guy. It has to be. It has to be. The reason if if the person took it out, maybe the Saika tried to use use it as like in self defense. Cause that's the only way you can get scratches on it. Y'all, if I am figuring this out. Uh, there's a key on the ground. Dude, it's your room key. It has my name on it. It must have been the room. If I remember correctly. Ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. I forgot that. When we switch rooms, we switch keys too. So Saika would have had the key here in my room the entire time but wait if that's true then how did the killer get into the room in the first place could Saika have forgotten to lock the door no that seems impossible the same goes for you Saika no matter who it is don't open your door for anyone even if I even if I'm sure it's you I absolutely won't open it otherwise what's the point of even switching exactly what's the point of you switching rooms you could have stayed in your room if nobody could access your room. So what was the point of you leaving in the first? Y'all, I'm getting like, oh my God. After after saying that, there's no way she would have had forgotten to lock, lock it or open it for anyone. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else... No! If the only... <laughs> I got... I think I got it. I think I got it. No, that's not possible either. Saika was in here when, when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. So she couldn't have dropped it. Now, if she was dumb enough to leave her room and walk next, walk into the hallway and next door, she more likely would could have walked around. So how did the killer... I think I got it. Switching rooms. No. There's two... What? Ugh, I'm trying to get it out. The first thing is that she's in a male's room, which means now a guy can access that room. Somebody had to have known that they switched rooms. That's another thing. Who? Oh, my phone. The person who was trying to get in her room in the first place. Whoever was trying to get in her room, like I said before, when she walked out into the hallway, they had to have seen her go to Makoto's room. So it made it easier for that person to access Makoto's room. That's why I think it's a guy. Because they had to have been able to access Makoto's room knowing she had took her butt in there. If she had stayed in her room, she would have been just fine. But she made it easy for the killer putting herself in a position where they can easily access her and nobody would have heard it. I got it. I got it. No, I have to have this. I have to. If, I, if I'm off, I'm... Oh, man. The toolkit is still inside the drawer, so it doesn't... I don't see any evidence of it being used at all. Okay, so it makes sense. Da, da, da. Okay, cool. Yo. Yeah, seriously? Oh, Mondo. Why? 
we ain't exactly in the mood to be building. First of all, aren't you supposed to be? Oh, no, you're supposed to be in here. I'm sorry, bro. So, you haven't used yours either, eh? Why? Not Why? just me. Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way. None of the guys have opened their tool kits yet, because, like, what the hell, or why the hell would we? Hold on. Yeah, nobody, so if nobody used their tool kit, that means nobody was needed or was able to break this thing. Sorry, give me a headache. Nobody was able to break into the room, which means nobody broke, okay, now it's too loose. Nobody broke into the room. Which means somebody had easy... Y'all. <laughs> if this is your first time seeing this, like, th this game and gameplay to this, if you're figuring it out along with me like I am, hats off, because I swear I think I already got it. Uh, I shouldn't... I should look around here first. I can check other spots later. I... I mean, the lint roller? Huh? Looking at the lint roll, it looks like there, there's way less than there ever. Oh, somebody, this I could see how dirty my room was and decided to clean it up. So somebody used the lint roller. Why would you use the lint roll? The notepad is still here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. Well, somebody could have wrote something on it. Don't be. Hey, what are you doing? Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions. Thank you. Thank you, Sakura. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of us come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Thank you, Sakura. Hey, did you walk in here? Hey. Kyoko, I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no. Not really. Not really. I'm searching. Okay, good point, but still. Searching? <laughs> searching? <laughs> what was that? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. What did I miss? A few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? N no, I don't think so. But what? Nodding, she glanced around my room once one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as uh, just as I suspect that there's something very unusual about your room. <laughs> unusual? What do you mean? So. I've searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. So somebody had cleaned that. Somebody cleaned the room. They they left certain pieces there, but they cleaned the room. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller. Uh huh. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it? I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in here and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Saeka or the killer? Well, well, that's the question, isn't it? Listen! Y'all. I think I got it. The two biggest things for me, the two biggest clues for me is the fact that, um, what's her name? Saika was in a male, um, the, the, like the boys room. So she, a guy had easy access to her period because of the bathrooms. They can access to the bathroom. Um, and then the sword, because it has that, that gold stuff can come off of it. 
whoever touched it still has the residue on their hands, under their fingernails. Yo, I don't want to talk to you. I want to go in that bathroom. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her her. Psycho. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Saeko? Oh, why? Why did Saeka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. What the hell is that? First of all, where did you get a knife from? The kitchen? No, it couldn't be. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but now's no time to think like that. I'm sorry, y'all. If I start slowing down reading, that's because I'm, I'm processing and thinking about these clues. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it, it, what it said about her body. Okay, so some sort of sharp object had been thrust into her stomach. Stomach. Um, that must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where they get it from? Right, where did they get a knife from? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Saeka's right wrist is broken. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Her wrist does, her wrist does look swollen and bloody. That's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery. It's the, it's the, 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 it's, <laughs> it's the gold, it's the gold thing from the thing, from the sword. It's glittery there on her wrist too. Right there where her wrist is all swollen. There's something, didn't you just say that? That's definitely concerns me. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is, uh, huh? There's some blood on her left index finger, but it's, but that's it. The palms of both of her hands are totally spotless. So how come only her finger is left? Sega's wrist has been added to the truth. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her. So when she broke her wrist, so that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. Mm. The killer attacked Saeka in the main room, which is where her wrist got broke. They do a lot of repeating and just trying to mix it up. After that, the killer can Hold on, y'all. What's that behind? Uh, after that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom. Is there something on the wall where they inflicted the deadly wound? What is this? I looked past Saika to the wall behind her. And there I saw 7301. 73011? Written in blood. Oh, oh, wow, I read that so backwards. Uh, number is 11037. Did Saika do this? What's throwing me off? Numbers are facing the right. I'm tripping. 
Oh, this I could. Oh, yeah, I'll just write that. Leave the bathroom. I mean, well, no, hold on. Oh, uh, no, 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 hold on. I need to, is there anything else? That girl's feet is turned inward. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I don't think that there's anything else that we can get. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. No. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I can get from that. Honestly, leave the bathroom? Yes. I honestly feel like... It looks like you found it. Right, Makoto? The bloody numbers. Uh, I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Do you often talk like an aspiring... I often say, do you, you know, a little bit too, too poetic. But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The only way she... Ah, the only way she wrote the numbers... The way she wrote the numbers makes... Oh, Jesus. Hold on. The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her... Her body to block them. So maybe she didn't want the killer to see that she wrote something. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting... The way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. Right. So she had to have just done this. If you were to write something in that position, do you really think it... Oh! The results would be... Think about it. It would be backwards. You're not going to tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. If you was to write, if you was to either way, in low key would end up being backwards. Right? It will Oh my god. I have a theory and it's only because I'm seeing something with the two ones and it looks like she no cuz then it wouldn't it would be as pink as everything. I don't know. Dying message has been added. I could be wrong. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Saika's dying message means. But honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should... Oh I, oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the... Oh, the ultimate programmer. Makoto. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens up. It opens no problem. Bathroom door frame. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The broken doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try look. Just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure... Yeah, because it looks like it's kind of... Anyways. Uh, I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The door knob. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what the heck? The door knob. Oh, it's off. The door knob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to. To the, so if nobody used the, anyway, you can use a tool kit and put the tools back. It's not like, you know what I mean? Like it would be obvious that somebody used it unless there was residue on the tool itself. Ooh, or somebody could have he could have used the knife depending on how the I don't know. And I say he because I think it's a guy. I swear, whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional. Why would someone want to do that? So, I guess maybe they're... Uh, I guess... Maybe... 
Excuse me, guys. They were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. Because like he said, M Makoto said he thought the bathroom door was locked, so maybe the killer did too. Because if she closed herself in the bathroom, the killer tried to um, unlock it with a tool, but the, it's not locked. It's just jammed. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Oh. The only... Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then, appara then apparently sh struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just more. Qu I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Um, yeah, he told Saika because she had to figure out how to, you know, use the bathroom. So what you were saying is only you and Saika knew about mm -hmm. it. Interesting. She had the slightest hint of smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. I see. Then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm lost. I'm, I'm sorry, oh, so lost. Well, see you later. As if, for, <laughs> as if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. You gotta figure it out for yourself, bro. Bathroom doorknob. I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over, so maybe I should look around somewhere else. There's really nowhere else for you to look. Everything happened in the room, unless you want to check people's hands. I should start looking into where the murder weapon, oh, that's right, might have came from. And also, I should look into the DVD Saika got. With Saika dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. Kind of, okay. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out, too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. If that'll even, if they'll even talk to me. That it, yeah, because everybody thinks he did it. But I, I don't think everybody's going to act funny towards him. I mean, yeah, they're going to accuse him, but I think they're, they're still going to try to talk to him. Hold on. Why do I look like I'm four feet tall? I have a theory, y'all. I have a theory, y'all. Oh, I have a theory, y'all. Please no. Please let me be wrong. I have a theory. I have a theory. Seems like... Something doesn't seem right. The monochroma file says Saika was killed in her room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? They did switch nameplates. Because Makoto's room was here, Saika was here. They switched the nameplates, which means the killer probably thought that. Oh snap! Was the killer really trying to kill Makoto? Very strange. So why was Saika in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? No, you've got it all wrong. Saika and I switched rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. <laughs> Even if what you say is absolute true is is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Huh? <laughs> After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched room. That's not Makoto's fault. Hold on. She she wouldn't have died if she hadn't left her room in the first place. That was her fault. Now Makoto being a friend and kind of being sympathetic, she's a female, he wants to make sure she feels safe, was like, listen, I'll be the gentleman, you take my room. But I don't blame Makoto like that. After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? The reason Saika was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms. No, I thought Saika suggested y'all switch rooms. She's dead because of me. Then it should have been me that died. <laughs> well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. That that's If that's really true, then I... No, nah, chill out, Makoto. I don't, I, no, nah, this, no, nah, no, 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 no. What's up, chicken fingers? Mm -hmm. With that avatar tie you got on. Um, very strange. Mr. Naegi, what was Miss, Mi oh my goodness, he is so, he's so extra. Let me just say this. No, I absolutely would, will not allow you to dispose any of, 
of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm getting... Hold on. What is in the trash? Y'all can't tell me that title to give you Avatar vibes. What's in the trash room? Why would you bring up the trash room? If anybody's... Chicken fingers, have you been in the trash room? No, there's nothing in here. And this door seems like it's locked, right? Yeah, it's locked. There's a hatch. Yeah. Ooh. I got some chochos. Okay, so we're leaving. I don't even know why I came in here. I came in here because it just seemed like a weird hint. Him talking about the trash room. Um, where was I supposed to go, y'all? There. I have her key. I have her key. So, no, 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 no. That's not my room. That's not my room. No, no, no. No, wrong. I need to go in here. Huh? This is Saika's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. Wait a minute. They didn't switch the name. But you should have her key. You can't get in her room. But why would we go in her room? There's nothing in there. Let me go to the AV, the, 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 the AV room. That's what it was. I need to get to the AV room because he wanted to look at her DVD. I was trying not to make these videos extra long, but you can't help it. Like these chapters are long and I at least want to get through the trial or I may do the trial like in the next episode. But I really want it. Don't turn the corner. I don't want to talk to nobody. I want to get to this room. Um, I really want to get through this. We need to look at her. Do we? Is it in the? No. It's in the trash can. There's nothing inside. Did I pick it up? It's a DVD player. All right. I didn't pick. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I need to go back to my room. Oh my gosh. I got to go back to my room. Well, my room? Yeah, my room. And I need to get. No. The DVD was in her trash can. So how can I watch her video? I watched this video. Oh my god! So I so all the effort I put in switching rooms without anyone knowing is totally pointless because somebody already knew that y'all switch rooms. Oh, so that was a, okay. That was a thing. No, I want to go in her room because I need to get that DVD. Thank you. Thank you. The DVD is in her trash can. There can only be one thing in... There it is. You have the DVD with Saika's name on it. So now I can go to... Uh, I might not be directly related to the case, but it might be... Da -da -da. Uh, I'm sorry, Saika. I need to borrow this DVD. Yeah, we need to go to the AV room, bro. Leave the... Yes, leave. We need to get to the AV room. Bro, y'all, I have a theory. I have a theory. And the only thing, the only reason, we'll talk about it at the trial. Because I could be wrong. I could be, like, reading too far into stuff. But I'm also smart. So, and I'm good at putting two and two together. And there was something that I noticed. What? Oh, I passed it. I don't know. It could be me. It could be me. We'll see. So now that I have Saika's DVD, let's watch it. Uh, I should be able to use it. Yes, use it. Yes, yes, yes. Sit down on the screen of DVD player. Press play. Yes, we got it. Aww. I met. Okay. I imagine an image. I imagine an image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing, and standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Saika. She was there, along with the friend she said had been in so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept, except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then... That voice I'd come to despise so much began to flow out 
for the speakers. I don't know. The ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world famous all girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then. Suddenly the screen went dark. And in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. Hold on. Saeka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply Sayaka. nowhere for her to return to. Oh, that's right, because that was her biggest fear of like being forgotten and not having so friends. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Look for the answer at the man. Without warning, the video cut off. But the thing is, even though that was on the video, Saika didn't kill anybody. I'm trying to say, I'm sorry. Uh, he was even able to get them. Um, if that really did happen, everyone in the inside world, I'm sorry, everyone on the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person? Well, take things this far. Sorry, y'all. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. We need to leave. We need to leave. I don't need any any more information. It's starting to hurt. I, I feel like I don't need any more information. Um, Listen to me. Do you have a second, Makoto? I've uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's dorms has a nameplate on it. It shows who's in. Yeah, hey. right. Well, it just so happens. Wait, no, no, no. You might be the killer yourself. Can't tell you anything. Forget everything I said. Forget. Sorry, just a little joke. Even I do jokes sometimes. Bro, it's not funny. Now, now is really not the time. Now is really not the time. Where am I? Some of some people are missing though. Where is Sakura? Where is where? Where am I going? Why did I come here? Oh. You. Okay. So, uh, do you have any clues or anything? Mm -hmm. What kind of clues? Let us just agree we do not know who the culprit is and leave it at that. Whatever circus I may have, I don't intend on revealing anything until the class trial. Okay then, do you have any suggestions for where I should start looking? Well, um, so annoying. Must you fumble around fishing blindly for clues? <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't hurt to give you a little hint. The scene of the crime, naturally, but I think the trash room. It's also worth. I was just saying, it's also worth looking into the trash room. It is the perfect place to destroy evidence. However, there is one little problem, which is. As for me. That place is filthy. I'd rather go. I would rather die than sit set foot in there. <laughs> I am trusting all of you to conduct a thorough investigation on my behalf. Th that's... We don't put in some work. Okay, so... the tr Okay, so I was right to go to the trash room. Um, I'm not going... Actually, let me go to the gym. I'm going to the gym because somebody could be in here chilling. Because, oh, girl... But they wouldn't know anything. Because they're all in the gym. I'm just I'm gonna go in here anyways. We're going to the trash room in a minute. Hey, you um uh... Okay, no, no. If he's repeating if he's repeating stuff, then she is too. So we're gonna go to the trash room and see what's yes, new the area. See what's going on. Cause I thought that was a little a little obvious when he said, hey, don't go to the trash room. It's like telling somebody, hey, don't look down. The first thing they're going to do is look down. Uh, the hotel? The hotel. The trash room is at the end of the hall. Yup. That would make... 
Hold on. Laundry, too. Can I go in here? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Because someone could have easily... I couldn't go in here before, y'all. I couldn't go in here before. Oh, oh. There's, there's some magazine laying around. Oh, okay. It's a washing machine. A washing machine that has nothing to do with the case. No, it could have something to do with the case if somebody had blood on them and, had, and wanted to wash their clothes real quick. Anywho. Um... Let's go to the trash room, which is here. I guess I didn't, I wasn't paying attention enough. But how, oh, there's a switch on the wall. Um, it looks like some kind of switch. I wonder what it does. Y'all are getting all kinds of coins. Can I press it now? It, what do you mean you wonder what it does? Um, there's a starting gate here. No way to get past it. It's the end of the line. The trash room. This is where all trash in the school eventually ends up. Um, how do you get this gate open? No, no, you can't go any further. Okay, only the person who who only the, the only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. So who's on cleaning duty? No, no, you can't. Okay, okay, this is stupid. I, it'd be faster to just go around and ask the others. No, no. Cleaning dude. Where? Y'all, was anybody, were we assigned? We weren't, did, oh crap. Were we assigned any tasks? Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Um, he's in there freaking out. Bro, I have a theory. Um, let me talk to you again. Are you going to say the same thing? Oh! As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you act? The person who told me not to go in there and destroy evidence is the person who's on cleaning duty. The only person that has access to the room. So did you do it? It's just It just so happened Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time so I formally applied for the position okay I was gonna start this morning but after what happened I oh so you hadn't even had a chance to do anything and since you're on cleaning duty you can open the gate in front of the trash room right Here we go. give me the key it's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room and to do that, you have to have the key. Oh, I'm sorry. To do that, they gave me the key for the trash. Who is they? Monokuma is one person. Gave me the key for the trash room. <laughs> Anyways. But we're supposed to rotate once a week. So eventually, you'll be in charge. Wait, hold on. So you need a key to get in the trash room? And the only person on cleaning duty has access to the key? Well, what's the point of doing all... Uh, of going... To all that trouble why not leave the trash room open yeah all the time so that you can all throw away things out of oh my gosh to where you can all throw things out whenever you want which makes sense that does seem more so convenient in other words uh anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered so that's it that must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. That makes sense. The thrill would would disappear and things would become boring. But boring? Because hey, this is, you have to understand, this is also entertainment for Monokuma. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard. Hey, fatty. Whoa. Whoa. Why do you want, want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh. I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You liar. I know why you did it. Is it? You want to dig through all the girls' trash looking for, you know, and poking around at it. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. Yeah, right. Like, what are you talking about? All my love is for 2D. <laughs> you know what I mean. 
But there's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then... T uh, after spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily choose 2D. Um, the only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. Okay. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? If you're so worried about uh, Hufumi's questionable m morality, there's a, a uh, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has to cl has cleaning du duty, Sakura can accompany them. Yep, from picking up the trash to oh, that makes sense. What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in that? That's not how it's supposed to. Anyway. On another topic, Fumi, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask mm -hmm. you. Uh, what's so nice you suddenly on the jump? Da, 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 da. Just give me the key. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma or save a bit. Bro, if you don't give me this key, no, nothing like that. I just, I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. Yeah. Oh, okay. So easy. So Hafumi headed down to the trash. Cool, so let's turn around and go right... Oh, never mind. I didn't have to walk. Hmm. So, hmm. would you like me to open hmm. the gate with you? Hmm. Bro, chill. <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his... What? They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside. But he never stopped... Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So he, so him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please just hurry up. What you... Okie dokie, leave it to me. <coughs> Before we pulled the key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then, that's what I want. Mr. However, Mr. Knight, oh, okay, well. Doubt. Surely you weren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence. Like, dude, no, I'm, I, I didn't do it. I just wanted to see if you, if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. Hmm. Hmm. But the actual killer is hmm. you, isn't it? You want to see if you left anything behind. Well, y'all are ruthless, man. Okay, whatever. Let's just hurry up and keep looking. Yes. I will. Oh wait, what is that broken on the floor? Hold on, the incinerator is way too black. Uh, and ah, and it's on right now. Is it? Mm-hmm. Do you see any green or yellow buttons next to to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. Press the green button to get it going, and press the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on the cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave. Okay. <laughs> Someone turned it on already. Very. Wait a minute. How did somebody turn it on if you had the key? I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Did you leave it unlocked? Perhaps it was the work of Lord. Hafumi, do you realize what you just said? No. You said that last time you were here, the incinerator was off. Which means either somebody got the key off of you or you left it unlocked. Ah, uh, yes, about that. There can be no mistakes. If I get, uh, if I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if. Yesterday, as soon as I, as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. I definitely wasn't, it definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I... I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate. It shouldn't be impossible for the incinerator to be on. Oh, it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet. So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without having to open the gate. I mean, you can't stick... And looking at this room and how big it is, I don't think you can just stick something in there and press the button. He Could they have snuck in and snuck... I don't know. But how is that possible? Let me go to. Oh, 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 oh! There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Mm. Ah, a burnt piece, like a hunk. 
Okay. <laughs> He's so corny. Anyway, this is, it looks like a piece of cloth and the shape, it looks like someone's sleeve. Yeah, yeah, It's a part of a sleeve from a button up shirt. I'm finna go check everybody out here who wearing a button up shirt. And now that I looked at it, it's definitely blood on it, on the cuff, which means this is all the all, this, all that's left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. But there's lots of people here and white body. Mm -mm. This isn't enough by itself. To, well, that's true. That's true. There are other people here wearing it. What is this? This was the first thing I saw. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like it's used used to be some kind of glass ball just just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. So, night. Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect all seven drag. We're not talking about Dragon Ball Z right now, bro. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this dude did not make a Dragon Ball Z reference. Child kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on any big city street corner. Gaze into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that, I mean, it, he is, his everything, everything about him is a reference to some type of game. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. Oh, my boy, that's true. That's true. We got to go to the gym. Mm. This whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off, and those glass shards and burnt cloths weren't. Completely unforgivable. Nah. Bro, I didn't do it. Chill out. Okay, so everyone already knows knows you did it, and the mysterious. But the, I think I have. I, I, I think I, I don't know. I don't know. I have assumptions. I have assumptions. I I think I think I'm going to the gym. Gosh darn it, I'm going to the gym. And if I'm right, I'ma lose it because I figured that crap out. But the thing is, and I'm going to tell you what made me think what I thought at that time. But right now, I need to get to the gym. And I swear I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the right way. I'm going the right way. Oh, my gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's my bro at? We need to talk. <laughs> hey, Hira, can I ask you something? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here now. <laughs> I haven't, I've had enough. I got to break free. Hero, snap out of it. Um, What are you doing here? Oh, no, no, no. We've actually... Um, does this look familiar? Oh, he took it out. That's my crystal ball. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I've been recording for like an hour and 27 minutes and I'm starting to get a little sleepy. But it's all smashed. What the hell? What the heck? I, I only bought it because the guy said it was it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? Oh, okay, apparently it's breakable. What is actually just made? Well, was it actually just made oh, of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? Yes. <sighs> he said it belonged to the pillars of history. Oh, bro, 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 bro. He said whoever controlled the crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? I feel like people are getting a lot of things over on you. Let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you. Uh, um... Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably, for <laughs> I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have came by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Right. I'm ready to get to this trial. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, I'm not even reading. I mean, uh, that's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world, that's just too too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. 
We need to. Can, can we? Can we trial now? Can we trial? Hey, Jahira, I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? What is it? Before she died, Saika left a message. She wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what these numbers might mean? Look, I mean, like, could they be a code or something? Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, no. Jahira solely shook her head. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I just, <laughs> I just don't know. Well, okay, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Even she doesn't know. Or could she maybe... Oh, could she maybe know more than she's letting on? Yeah, could she... It's the quiet ones. Leader Jim, yes. So now I need to go back. I think I'm going to go back to my room. This is going to be a long video, y'all. This is going to be a long video. This is going to be a long one. I mean, it's going to take forever for me to edit this. That rendering is going to be... Your lord... Um, I guess I can talk to you because you're standing here. Wait, no, you cracked the joke earlier. Don't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You're, you're saying the same thing. You're saying the same thing. You're saying the same thing. Bye, 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 bye. Um, yeah. They're in my room. I'm like, have I seen everybody? Have I talked to everybody? Am I missing anybody? I'm going back to my room. Cause I feel like I've gotten everything that I needed. There's no way. I mean, technically, this is my room. Yeah. I think I've got everything that I need. Look at my room. Mondo! By the way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer couldn't have already destroyed some evidence, evidence right? Before anyone found, found the body. I mean, there's a trash room. Bro, we done already did that. Yeah, that's definitely possible. Son of a yeah, we did that already. Oh, yeah, sorry. Dead. And now he's just okay. Yo. Uh, that's all that gets started. Okay. Sakura, talk to me. Sakura, do you think I'm just? Oh, okay. Well, she's gonna repeat herself. So, is anybody in this bathroom that I can talk to? So I can go in here. Y'all, I gotta, I gotta. It's, mm, I'm gonna leave. There's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. Why did it pan the room like that? Like I'm missing something. Let me look at my toolkit real quick. I mean, I guess nobody could have used the toolkit, right? Oh my bed. Oh my bed. Yeah, uh yeah, okay, okay. I thought that was gonna like unlock something. I need to go find yeah, leave. I need to go find what's her face. And I wonder if she's in her poor Junko. No. Am I going the wrong way? Hold on. It's my room. Oh, I think this is her right here. Hey, can I talk to you? I don't think there's anything here that would help me. No, I need to talk to her. Where is she? Let me go to the cafeteria. If she's not in the cafeteria, I'm checking the classrooms. Because I've been everywhere else. Oh, I forgot about you. Uh, are you investigating the dining hall? Mm. Yeah, because we need to figure out where that knife came from. Um, I just, uh, I just, ah, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is all, all the first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue on what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me calm down. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of, you know, hanging around here. To tell the truth, to tell, yeah, to tell the truth, I was doing some, uh, something last night when Saika was killed. What were you doing? Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Um, uh, ma'am, you were doing what? Uh, I was doing, oh, I was doing the same thing. Sorry. Wait a minute. I can go in here now. You couldn't go in. Ooh, look at all this, those veggies and stuff. Who cooks? Bam, bam. There's a knife missing. Uh, there are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big on but 
it looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning or no, we couldn't come in here. We couldn't come in here. What is this on the wall? I can't click on it. I think I legit have everything that I need. That is a big microwave. Marble, mmm, salted meats. Now's no time to be thinking about food. Actually, I'm hungry. I'm starving right now. Um, yeah, leave the kitchen. Let's leave, let's leave, let's leave, let's get out. Who does this get? It's like, I don't know how long it takes. Mm -hmm. Yes, leave. I'm looking for what's her face. And I'm going to go to the classroom to see if she's in there. Um, this, yeah, here's one. Y'all, this is getting good. It's starting to get good. Thank goodness, because my first two videos. Uh, uh, to kill someone. Oh, I forgot about them. Just to save your own life. And I've been living with someone like that. Ooh. Oh, I think I might vomit. But is what Monokuma said really true? Did one of us really kill Saika? Like, apparently, if the mastermind really was going to get involved, then what have just killed us on day one? That's a good point. But the way... Oh, by the way, how's your investigation going? I already told you I don't do blood... Oh, yeah, so I don't... Yeah, 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 yeah. But I... I already know who did it. After all, suspicious. where was Saika killed? Oh, she thinks it's me. Okay, bye. 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 Forget all of y'all who are assuming I did it and not just investigating. Like, I get it, but my goodness. The hat, yeah, I know that the hatches, there's a hatch on the floor. Rattle, rattle, the door it won't budge, it might be locked. Wait a minute, but you have the key. Can you unlock that? Mm-hmm. Seem a little down. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on. I mean, that's the... That's all I got, y'all. No, don't leave the area. I already gave this... Right. That's what I... That's what I'm saying. I think I've done everything already. And Hifumi keeps saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. Come on. I need help figuring this out. I'm talking about spirits. Mm -hmm. Um. So is that everything? Mm -hmm. Oh, I had to. I had to actually click on the button to let him know that I'm done. Wow. <laughs> uh, keep that. Oh my goodness, gung ho attitude in mind. But we still got to do the actual uh, legwork, right? Uh, one of those things he said was definitely not like the other. Yeah, I'm done. So... Oh, no, 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 no. We're done. So that's everything. Okay, so, uh, close what you open, put away what you take out, sleep after you eat, take care of what you buy. Oh, okay. Can you open this, bro? There's a hatch on the floor. Rattle, rattle. Okay, so we're out. 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 I'm gone. I'm gone. No, 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 no. Leave, 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 leave. I'm hoping that when I leave, we can do the trial. This video is almost two hours long. I'm going to try my hardest to edit this to where it's not that long. I think I'm going to... Because I don't know where else I need to go. And... I don't want this video is already long enough. So I think I'm going to stop it here. We found pretty much all the clues that we needed. And then next video, um, next video, I'll do like the class trial, the actual trial. And then we'll move on from there. So now that I know how to save the game, um, <laughs> in fact, let me do that now. Um, yeah, we're gonna. Yes, please. Save your current part. Did it save it? It did. 
All right, so yeah, I'm gonna stop it right here, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video again. Next time, we are going to do the actual class trial. I have like two, actually, one, two, three, four. I have five other videos that I'm trying to get recorded today, fingers crossed, um, so that I have things to upload throughout the month. But I'm going to stop it right here. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like to help support the channel. Subscribe if you are new. I appreciate you guys. I cannot wait to see y'all in the next video. And yeah, see you next time.